Hello, this is Constructor. Are you receiving me? <laughs> so, you think you can make it in the... The hippie. He's a man. So, you think you can make it in... The... The thief. He's a dastardly schemer and just come... The psycho. So, you think you can make it in the world of Constructor? Your predecessor was not up to the job. You think you can cope with the demands of the city council and the mob, let alone those annoying tenants? I'll get it in the neck if I don't explain some of the basics to you. Your ever-important cursor is controlled using the left stick. You can push scroll the map by moving to the sides of the screen. Well, there's no flies on you, are there? You can move the camera view around using the right stick on its own. Why don't you have a look around now? You can zoom right out by holding ZR and pulling down on the right stick. Well done. You're not as daft as you look. You can zoom back in by holding ZR and pushing up on the right stick. This is your HQ, centre of all things important. You'd best protect it like it was one of your own. If this burns down, it'll be curtains for you. But don't worry, we'll dig you a nice grave in the yard. Rather than standing around picking your nose, let's get going by selecting this geezer. Point your cursor at his feet and press the A button. This is your foreman. You'll need him to build your property empire. He will instruct his own work team to do all the hard graft for you whilst he files the risk assessments. You can move him around by pointing where you want him to move to and pressing X. Right on. And here they come. Your workers have finally got out right of to do some hard graft. Send your foreman to the beacon we've just placed outside the HQ entrance by pointing and pressing the X button. His work team will always tag along. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. That 
was a long walk, wasn't it? Every foreman can have a work group of up to five workers. If you have a full group, they'll be far more efficient. So you better add two more workers to this guy's team. Select the flashing work team button and make the group up to five workers. Select spare workers on the right to fill the team up to five. Right on. And then choose the flashing group selection icon to bring them together. Great job. You're getting the idea with these flashing icons. Now let's exit this screen. Right, enough of all this poncing about. Time to do some building. Let's start by placing your first building site. So let's head on over to the estate agent. The lumber yard will be your first resource, which is handy for a plank like you. Get it up and running to supply wood for your future buildings. Try finding a legal position to place the site by moving the cursor footprint around. You can tell which land you own because it's glowing your team colour. Position the cursor over where you want to build. If the cursor is red, then it's not a legal position. The arrows show which direction the gate will face. Would you look at that? A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, press A whilst hovering over the footings. To start working on this building, bring your men onto the site. This can be done by simply clicking on the Call Work Team icon. Alternatively, you could just tell your foreman to walk his sorry face right over there. Watch them build. It's a real delight. If these guys keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become much more reliable. Congratulations! You have finished your first lumber yard. To restock it, move a work team into the building. The lumber yard will be your source of wood for years to come. Press A whilst hovering over the building foundations or click the new icon that's appeared on the left hand side of the screen. To restock this resource, call the work team into the building. Now, let's have you stock the building up. made enough of a racket, but now we've got enough wood to start building our next property. Go to the estate agent to see your new choices. There are now more choices of buildings you can create. Click on the Homes icon to see what's new. You now have access to three low-grade tenant houses. We want you to build a log cabin, which will fit neatly beside your lumber yard. You can change the selected building type by using the D-pad. Press the A button to place site. Well, that one squeezed in nicely. Now you need to call a work team to finish the job. If your teams are busy, click on your foreman using A and move him to the site by pointing and clicking X. Whilst people are inside a building, a flag appears outside. You can click on the base of his brown flag using A to select him.
We should have this new house knocked up in no time. Well done. Your first home has been completed and is ready to be rented out for the first time. Building a variety of types of houses would expand your choices in the future. Congratulations on your first tenant house, even if it is a bit... math. To look inside and choose a tenant, hover your pointer over the base of the building and press A. Well, this place is obviously empty. To put a tenant in this house, click on the Appoint Tenant icon. There are five levels of tenant, from the riffraff to the toffs. I'm afraid you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this stage. Take this dodgy looking pair. I think it's best we use the other couple. Oi. These slobs will do exactly what we need. They'll breed like rabbits to create extra workers and tenants. They've moved in and made themselves at home. Don't you love what they've done with the decor? You can find out what these tenants like and don't like by clicking on their picture. These slobs are the lowest level of tenant that you can get. They're good for breeding quickly, are quite noisy and can cause problems for their neighbours. But as long as you don't annoy them, they can be fairly self-contained and don't expect too much in the way of luxuries. These areas give you information about the house and its tenant. Currently, these guys are paying rent, but we need to expand our empire and breed more workers. Click on the worker icon to have them start breeding a worker instead. There you go. Your bundle of joys on its way. This display shows you how long before your worker will report for duty at your HQ. To make your tenants a bit more active in the bedroom and deliver your children quicker, I suggest you upgrade their bedroom. Click on the redecorate rooms button. There are four rooms in this gaff. Each of these rooms has a different benefit, such as increasing life expectancy, relieving stress, reducing repairs and increasing birth rate, which is what we need right now. Please select the bedroom. What a duck! There are several stages for each room that must be better than this. Select Upgrade Room to start redecorating. You will need to call a work team inside the building to complete the upgrade. Marvellous! Your team has completed the new bedroom. Doesn't that look better? Hopefully it will have the desired effect. Let's go back to the main screen and see how they are getting on. You will notice that the birth rate has improved. The faster the dial goes round, the quicker the next baby will appear. Just like in real life. They do slow down as they produce more children, but the happier they are, the quicker they breed. And more rent they are willing to pay. Everyone wants a nice garden to go with their house. So let's start by improving the fence. At the moment, you only have a limited selection of fences available. This tenant particularly likes the privet hedge, of course. Please select and purchase it. You need to get those lazy workers off their tea break and out into the yard to do some more work. Please call them back out. 